Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk about uh, an interesting topic around experience cloud certification, which is very important. Uh, that is to know which user experience cloud, uh, sorry, let me expand it, right? This will, okay, so which user uh, experience cloud side users can see, right? So this is the thing I want to talk about. Um, so this is a theory session. Uh, which is important in my uh, opinion, it's because you might get quizzed around this uh, in the certification. So, okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, three options here. One is the the portal user uh, visibility, uh, spell it correctly, and then uh, side user visibility. Um, I think I spelled it correctly. And then uh, we're going to talk about the guest user, right? OK. So and we're going to look at the scenarios as well, right? What happened when these options are disabled or enabled? OK. Uh, so these three things. OK. That's nice and easy. OK. So let's talk about the portal user visibility, right? So what happens if you enable the portal user visibility? Okay, so let's see, enabled and uh, disabled, right? Okay, so I enable the portal user visibility, then what happens? So if you enable this functionality, right, then the portal user in the same customer or partner portal account can see each other. In simple terms okay so I repeat it again if you enable this option right if you enable this uh, this boy then what happens is that portal user in the same customer or partner portal account can see each other uh, regardless of the org wide default remember that regardless of the org wide default okay um, so the partner users with the partner community license can also see the Salesforce user that owns the partner portal account Okay, remember this. Now comes to that. That's in a very nutshell, right? So because you know, I'm not going to go into the extreme details about you know what happens if you tweet, if you uh, flag this option or flag that options. I just wanted to cover what happens when you enable these options or when you disable this option, right? Okay, let's move to the side visibility, user visibility, right? So when you enable this, right, what happens is that this uh, specific option or or the setting, right? It controls whether user sharing is available uh, for authenticated user in your org communities. So now you must be wondering what the heck that even supposed to mean, right? Okay. So what happens is that if you enable this option, right, you have the option of selecting uh, something called see other members of this community. Okay. Um, so yeah. So you pretty much, or you know. Or in simple terms, I would say that an experienced cloud side user can see other experienced cloud. Uh, okay, I repeat it again. And so when you enable this option, right, an experienced cloud side user can see all other experienced cloud side user as long as they are members of the same site, even if they don't belong to the same account. I hope that's clear. So the experienced cloud side user uh, could see all other experienced cloud side users as long as they're the member of the same site, even if they don't belong to the same account. Okay, that's simple. Okay, now comes to the guest user visibility, which is you know pretty important. So this option let guest user to see other members of the site, whether user sharing is available for. Uh, unauthenticated user in your experience cloud site. So this is like, I mean, you normally grant this guest user visibility, right, on a side by side basis. Um, by And there's an option called let guest users see other member of the site. So that's the main thing, right? So the, the main use of this option is to let the guest user see other members of the site. That's in simple nutshell what happens when you enable this option, right? Okay, now imagine a scenario, right? Let, let's park this aside because the reason why I said let's park this aside 
uh, <clears throat> you know, I will talk about it later uh, because I wanted to talk about the side user visibility best practice for the guest user. And uh, so that's something I'm going to cover in the next lecture. So, but in today's uh, episode of what I wanted to do, I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, a couple of scenarios, which is pretty simple. Like what happens uh, when you have, say, poor user visibility and the side user visibility disabled. Okay, so let me duplicate. Okay, so let's say we have this option, okay, in your org, okay. Now what happens? What does that even mean? Okay, so portal user visibility uh, is disabled, side user visibility is disabled, okay? So what that means is that experienced cloud side user are visible only to themselves and user higher in the role hierarchy who are members of the same side, okay? So pretty much you can't see other experienced cloud side user. So that's a very simple scenario. Okay, so it can happen. So you might have an, uh, you know, scenario where these two options are disabled, and you might wonder, hey, why the experienced cloud side users are visible only to themselves, or the user higher in the role hierarchy? That's because you have these options disabled, right? Okay, now let's have a scenario when, uh, say, I wanted to enable, say, this this scenario. Okay. Now, side user visibility is disabled, portal user visibility is enabled. What happens? What does that even mean? So when that, so when, when you do this, right, when you turn off this option and uh, turn on this option and turn off this, then experienced cloud side user can see other experienced cloud side user in the same account and the same side, okay? So basically, you can see the user who belongs to the, the same account uh, in the same site. That's all in the nutshell it means, okay? Which is pretty simple, I hope. All right, now let's reverse this rule, right? So let me disable this, okay, and enable this. What does that supposed to mean? Okay, so this is very uh, pretty common scenario. It can, you can see this very often. So it means that experienced cloud site user can see all other uh, experienced cloud site user, uh, as long as they are the member of the same side, even though they don't belong to the uh, the same account. So you can see the all of the users belonging to the the same side, even though they don't belong to the same account. That's because it's you're talking about the side level uh, side user visibility, right? Not specific to an account user visibility. So okay, so that's I hope that's clear. That's that's pretty simple, right? So now what happens if I enabled both of it, right? Enable these options. Pretty fancy. Now, you know, it's quite obvious. So in this case, what happens? Experienced cloud side user can see all other experienced cloud side user that they are a member of, even if they don't belong to the same account. Pretty obvious, right? So they can pretty much see all other experienced cloud side user which they are a member of. And they don't have to belong to the same account. So that's how this things work. I mean, the reason why I wanted to talk about this specific topic today, right? Uh, because you might get asked, right? What happens, you know, someone turn off this portal of user visibility, you might get three, four options, you need to pick and choose one. And even if you're building an experienced cloud side, right? You need to understand what happens if you turn turn off or turn on these options, right? Uh, because you might get different results and you might get confused if you don't have a good understanding of it. So this this is a very important topic in my personal opinion. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to cover, even though it's a very small topic, but I will highly uh, encourage you guys to read about it from Trailhead if you're still confused. Or you can uh, you know, send me a message in, in the uh, comment section, so I will respond. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about in this episode. I hope you guys have an amazing um, Monday, and I will assure that I'm going to make videos pretty much every day because I got you know a lot of free time now for a couple of months. Uh, so I will make sure that I'll finish this uh, experience cloud uh, perhaps in 10 to 15 days. Then I'm also, uh, if you remember, I also talked about the data architect one. Unfortunately, what happened last year when, uh, <clears throat> before, you know, when the Christmas holiday started, I went on a holiday for like, I went to Singapore <clears throat> for a holiday. So I, you know, kind of sidetracked, didn't have a time. So, but the course is almost done. So I, I need to 
polish it up and it will be ready by February. So yeah, that's pretty much I wanted to cover guys. Thank you very much.